This is Evercore Heroes. Welcome to Lumeria. But lucky enough, I did get my hands on a hour and a half, roughly almost two hour preview of Evercore Hero recently, as well as had an opportunity for that time to pretty much have a decent amount of in-depth discussion with some of the developers about how the game works, what some of the stuff that is going to be happening with the game, some of the stuff that might not be happening. And of course, I am here to give you guys my thought on this once again with about an hour and a half, almost two hour of gameplay. And if this is a game you should be keeping an eye on. So to start off here, uh, the game itself does very much look like a lot of PvP games out there, especially in the MOBA field, such as League of Legends and Dota. And of course, it makes sense that it would look like this because a lot of the devs that it tie uh, to Vala games are ex Wyatt devs. So it makes sense. But with that being said, though, this is not a MOBA at all. This is a, a PvE game built around competition. And I know that might sound a little confusing, especially once we get into the gameplay stuff, and I get it as well, since I was questioning that going into the event of, uh, like, why am I invited to a Dota type of game event? Uh, which, after uh, setting down and playing it for myself, I'm actually kind of happy I accepted the invite here, and it does make sense why I would specifically be invited to this event, because this is leaning a little bit more outside of visual cues and some of the structure uh, for your character being very Dota-like or League of Legends-like. Once again, we will go into that in a moment. But there is a side of it that leans a little more into the MMO stuff, as well as leaning into a uh, competitive game that you will see at any e event known to man you know, and what i mean by this is a call to start off with it being a, a pve game you might be wondering like how do the competition part operate so how this plays out is at the beginning of each round uh, you will get a pick your character between a tank dps and hero there is, at least in this preview event, I believe it was 16 or 18 uh, characters that could play. I only got to play roughly about three of them, so keep that in mind here. But nonetheless, I uh, mainly played uh, a lot of DPS, as well as a little bit of tanks. Uh, since, obviously, healing or healing people in this context is something that I'm kind of going to say for when the game come out. Because uh, we will get into some of the overwhelming parts of that. But nonetheless, heal is at the beginning of the round, you will pick your character. Your teams are made up of four members and four team total. So, when you start the game, all four teams will start out in the same area. You will have a map that will have distant objective gather around. Might it be uh, taking on certain bosses, killing certain enemy, defending certain things. Or maybe you just want to one off and kill some enemies uh, yourself. There is a lot of objective right out of the gate to let you decide how you want to uh, take part in and how do you want to actually progress here. In the beta or the test, it was a little overwhelming up front, but I'm hoping that's something that will probably get worked out when the game comes out and get a little more tutorial. The devs did a great job trying to explain to me what was happening, but I do got to say up front is a little overwhelming. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, once I started wrapping my head around it in like two to three games, it's not nearly that bad, but it still feels like it a lot there. I still have to warn that, sadly, I just didn't get to because the time we had to play. But with that being said, as you are uh, going through the objective, a few things are happening. So to start off, your characters are leveling up and getting money from doing the objective or killing mobs. And the thing about leveling, as well as money, is it is shelled between your team. So when one pulls a level up, all four of you level up. When one pulls a pick up money, you all pick up the money. And the main objective here is to mainly broken into two camps. Mainly getting level, getting money so you can upgrade your character, very similar to other mobile games, where you will have a shop at your base that you can level up your character as well as secret shops that will randomly spawn around the map itself. And the maps are made up as of now, a leading into open beta and in the gameplay preview I took part in, uh, there were three maps total. Uh, so things are going to change. Certain quest types will be distant. 
as well as sort an enemy depending on what map you are playing on. But once you got yourself level up, you got your money, you are buying your equipment. Uh, the other part of this is, of course, as you are doing some of the other objectives, you will get your hands on a Luma. Luma is pretty much think of it as like the HP currency for your main camp. Uh, since every player will have their own camp that they defend, uh, it all roughly in the same area. Each team will gain HP for their camp separate from each other team. Uh, so you start bringing in the whole uh, strategy of do you level up your bay? Do you level up your character? Do you level up your equipment? And that is like the main uh, circle of gameplay here uh, to get you uh, embedded and keep you out there doing stuff. But with that being said, outside of that, you can of course still find items, cattle around, or abilities that you can find that might drop from certain enemies that will give you character and your team certain synergies uh, that may or may not work depending on uh, your, you know, your lineup in your team. And uh, that part is uh, very much the MMO stuff of when the items are picked up, you can eat a cat lot or roll on them for other team members to get them, just in case certain items or weapon would work better with certain character. Uh, so you also have that happening on the main map area. But with that being said, the game at this point is broken into three rounds. And each one at the time of my preview, which I act directly about, uh, and of course at the time uh, they pretty much just stayed. Uh, as of now, they're not sure exactly what the time is. Is it this? And little details there that obviously still being tweaked. But nonetheless, there will be a, a time limit for each of the rounds. Well, at the end of that time limit, you will have to return back uh, to your bait, since your bait will start being attacked by monsters and bosses. And the main goal at this point is to get back to the bait, kill as many enemies, keep your base alive, since if your bait gets destroyed, you are decodified and have to re -queue. If you can keep it alive, at that point, it come down about points. So as you kill more enemies, and more bosses, your team will gather points. And once that round ends, since it's pretty much a horde mode, once it ends, all the team points will be calculated. And whichever team haven't had a bait destroy or have the lowest amount of points appealed to the other four teams will be disqualified. And then it begins again. And from there, you keep all your level, you keep all your equipment, you pretty much go back into the open map. And you continue leveling your character and enhancing your base. And as it progress, each round will slowly start kicking out one team. Two, there was only a two teams left. And at that point, you two are competing against a, a very specific bot uh, that will spawn in the final round. As well as some uh, enemies that might spawn to try to overrun your base as well here. But it pretty much a big... Uh, like I get you could say if in the MMO bait you might see this as a, like a wade battle uh, that will happen to decide the winner of the match itself. That is pretty much the main gameplay loop of the actual gameplay heal. Uh, but with that being said, as far of uh, getting into like progression outside of gameplay, is we do have ourselves a skill tree. Sadly, in the preview, I could see it but could not interact with it. But it does look like every character will have a skill tree with multiple steps to walk through. What it reminded me of, once again, not being able to met with it, but just visually like looking at it, it can kind of remind me a little bit of the way uh, Dead by Daylight operate with its skill tree. Take that with a grain of salt. We will see how this actually operate in the full version. But it very much remind me of that where it seemed like uh, you are going to be building this up over each game. Outside of that, from what I found out from the devs, and no, it does not seem like anything beyond that skill tree going to carry over. So once you start the next game, might it be on the same character, might it not be, uh, you will have to of course, start from level one again and walk your way up. So, as you can see, the gameplay itself, when it comes to, like, that type of, like, quote-unquote MOBA look, is actually kind of interesting of doing it more as a PvE game with, like, bringing in mechanics such as horde mode or bringing in, like, the leveling and shops of, like, Dota. 
a weird accord so and then also bringing in like in-game waves with the final rounds and of course the team of uh, how the actual distant characters are set up to be mainly the holy trinity of mmo and i gotta say coming out of this i am of course very very interesting to see where they're gonna go like long term uh, as well as uh, how they're going to operate uh, once we get our hands on the game uh, when it comes out on June 20th on a PC. With that being said, though, a couple things to keep in mind here. Of course, this will be free to play, but to start off is, of course, uh, we will have ourselves a founder pack to start off with if you want to play before it becomes uh, open and free to play uh, by the end of the year, along with everything go at plan. Because uh, I believe it was said it was going to be quarter four for this. So, bet that roughly at the end of the year. But the thing is, on the battle path, though, if you're interested in joining this, uh, just know you can only buy the battle path to the official website. And at the time of the preview, there was no plan to bring it to Steam, Epic, or any other platform. Uh, and the reason given is to mainly uh, have it operate on the website. And to stay closer to the community. Take that as you will, I guess. But nonetheless, you will have to go to the website to play this game for the foreseeable future anyway. And if you are interested in the Founder Pack, there is three packs you can pick up with Founder being $19.99, a Legend being $49.99, and Evercore Hero being $79.99. I do gotta say one of the night nice thing is about the founder pack is of course you will be able uh, to invite a friend so you technically get two copies of the game in every version right along with a whole bunch of other knickknacks as well uh, for the game itself if this is something you are interested in uh, but as someone here that honestly was kind of fine with League of Legends Dota haven't played in you never played it seriously by any means and as someone, as you know, that lean way more into, like, mechanically driven um, MMOs or, like, I get live silver game. Walking out of this, go oh, I should say, going into this, I was very confused. By the time I came out on the other end after playing it, is I'm in the camp of, this will be one of them games. I do want to check out Leap once, one or two more times just to see how this shakes out. Because there are parts of it that I actually find kind of interesting. But I do have my worry uh, such as, of course, the game itself being inclusive to a website. But at the same time, um, who knows? Maybe it will be fine. Maybe uh, some of the promotions, such as I get what I'm technically doing here. As well as uh, some of the backing of you know, the developer themselves. Hopefully, they can find a place out there long term. But, like I said, any if long term net may or may not work out, uh, I do at least find it interesting, and I do think there is some fun to be had here, and hopefully, from what I have said, what you have seen, hopefully, uh, it might be a game you might be interested in. Uh, if so, once again, link in the description uh, to uh, check it all out. Uh, and, of course, once again, this whole video is a big thing uh, to Vala Games, who uh, did end up, I get virtually, technically, uh, sending us out to this event uh, to hop in, to play, to talk to the devs, and do interviews. It was a good time, and walking out of that event, I'm very interested. I get would be the way I'm, I'm kind of setting. I will absolutely check this out again uh, and see what comes of it. Uh, but with that, that is Evercore. And, of course, I will keep you guys up to date on a couple things. And you might see a couple dreams in the future coming from me uh, from when they actually launch once again on June 20th. And there will be a, uh, quote, beta that, of course, you got to buy in. But the beta will continue up to the game launch. Uh, so anything you might buy since this is free to play or will be free to play uh, will carry over into the full release later on this year. And with that, let me know in the comment how you feeling about it. Um, like I said, are you interested? Do you do you, are you in my camp a little overwhelming? But very curious. Let me know up below. And like always, that will go ahead and uh, do it for me. And I will see you in the comments.